All right, today I'm kind of going to uh, make a bit of an update on how to downgrade from version 1.13 to version 1.1. Um, still have a lot of people not understanding exactly how to do it or having problems doing it, so I decided to uh, redo the video and just do it uh, step by step with a little more uh, detail. Um, first thing is uh, just make sure you have your iPod connected and uh, go ahead and open up iTunes. Um, to do this, you're going to hold down your home button and the power button at the same time. Okay, the uh, so called trick to doing this is um, holding down both of them for 10 seconds and then after the 10 seconds are up letting go of the power button but continuing to hold the home button so I'll go ahead and put the camera down while I do this so you can see exactly what the iPod should look like while it's doing it so hold down your home button and your power button at the same time 1 1000, 2 1000, 3 1000, 4 1000, 5 1000, 6 1000, 7 1000, 8 1000, 9 1000 10 1000. Let go of the power button. Still holding the home button. They could continue to hold the home button until it uh, connects to your uh, iTunes. Just continue to hold it. You hear a couple of beeps. Go ahead and let go of the home button once this pops up on your iTunes. It says iTunes has detected um, an iPod that's in recovery mode. You must restore your iPod before it can be used with iTunes. Okay, at this point, I click OK. Okay, from here, what you want to do is hold down the Shift key and left click on Restore. And you're going to find, uh, go to whatever folder you had uh, downloaded uh, firmware version 1.1.1 now if you don't have it downloaded you can get it from my website it's ipodtouched.blogspot.com so you can select the file click open and it should um, go ahead and uh, restore your ipod down to uh, version 1.1.1 uh, one thing I want to point out that the iPod is turned off. Okay, when you successfully put your iPod in the restore mode, it should be turned off like that. If uh, the iTunes little icon pops up with the uh, USB cable, um, that means you did it wrong, and yeah, you need to try uh, putting it in restore mode again by holding down the power button and the home button again. Uh, just keep doing it until your iPod is um, is turned off and the screen is black, but it eventually it will connect to uh, your iTunes. You can see it's uh, waiting for the iPod. Um, now it has that little spinning circle. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just record the whole process so no one thinks that I'm doing anything different or leaving a step out, that's why y'all aren't getting it. Um, just to prove to you that it does work. Um, you don't need any special software to do this. Um, would like to thank a lot of y'all for all the positive comments, positive feedbacks. Um, please just don't forget to visit my website. Um, a lot of times I'll post little updates on there on how to fix some of the errors because uh, some people don't like to read through the comment sections on YouTube where I usually try to respond to most questions on how to fix the errors you're receiving um, as you can see this is still going this is still waiting for iPod it uh, does take a little while doesn't take a long time, but I know it's that prepare an iPod software for restore. Um, 
also I will be making or updating a video on how to jailbreak version 1.1.3 um, since there's been a couple updates with the um, some of the uh, software that is used to uh, update or jailbreak I should say 1.1.3 um, so I had some comments on uh, what exactly to do. A lot of the st um, steps remain the same, but now there's uh, one part that's a little different than it was from before. Um, not all applications work for it still, but a lot of them are working now. Um, you see it's restoring iPod software. It's almost done, and this is still just has that little spinning circle. If you get the uh, Air 5, that's a software issue or the firmware issue. It's just a corrupt version. Just download the firmware from my site, it works. See, it's uh, restoring iPod software, and it's almost done. Now it's going to uh, verify the iPod software. And this is still going. It's all plugged in, obviously. Take this to just really just show you and verify that it does work. it's really easy you can see it takes longer for iTunes to do its thing than to actually doing the restoring part so now it's a uh, restoring iPod firmware um, I'm also going to be making a kind of a beginner's guide to jailbreaking because uh, some people are really new to a lot of this type of stuff, um, have a lot of questions on how to download firmware, can't find the firmware, you know, they don't know how to open it up. Okay, here we go. iPod has been restored. As you can see, it's restarting itself. You can go ahead and just click OK or let it go. Either way, don't matter. I usually just click OK. As you can see, the uh, iPod is restoring or uh, restarting. Rebooting. Okay, now you can see that little iTunes icon with the USB cable. Don't do anything, just let it sit. You hear that little beeping sound. And it should be, uh, see it turned off for a second. And it should be connecting back to iTunes here any second now. You can see accessing iTunes Store, iPod, this is off. Now it's going to ask you to sync it back with the computer. I'm going to go ahead and restore from a backup. Click continue. Restoring iPod from backup. iTunes cannot back up the iPod. Uh, sometimes this happens. Uh, it's no big deal. Um, most of the time it'll work, but if it doesn't, I do is click OK. Actually, I'm kind of glad this happens to show y'all. What you're going to do is just uh, disconnect. Oh, put this down. Disconnect your iPod. Okay, you see it's been restored. Just reconnect it. Okay, just reconnect it. And I'll connect back um, with iTunes so you can see it popped up and it's syncing. Right, turn this off. Or cancel the syncing, I should say. But uh, there you have it.